Hi y'all. I got good old sap from Treehouse to review. I first had this beer when it was coming out of the old brewery, like <clears throat> close to three years ago. Um, and then a couple months ago I got Sussa Sap from the new brewery in Charlton. And then I finally got some regular sap. So it seems like the beer has changed slightly. Uh, on the can it says 7% alcohol. On their website it still says 7.3. And when I looked at my picture of sap from three years ago, it looks kind of dark and not as hazy as it looks now. Now it's, at least this batch that I've been tasting, it, it seems like a lot of their other ones, like uh, Alter Ego and Julius. It looks like that, and it's really, really tropical. Um, <clears throat> but it features Chinook hops, that's the whole shebang. It's a, yeah, actually it's a Chinook and Simcoe. So the Simcoe may have be pulling this to a sort of fruitier, more stone fruit area where a lot of their other IPAs are, but in the past, it, I wonder if they only used sap and they made it a little bit drier, more bitter, and maybe even a little bit darker. Um, but I really like how this one was drinking at least this batch, but I haven't had it in about at least a week. And you can see that it looks super beautiful, really pale, really hazy, just like Alter Ego and Julius look. <clears throat> awesome, awesome head. I love my big creamy heads. Mm. And that's yeah, surprisingly tropical. <sighs> yeah, Chinook you usually think is gonna be piney, resinous, <clears throat> really bitter grapefruit peel. But I'm getting lots of peach in here. They say mango, pine, grapefruit. Not much pine, a little bit. I'll probably get more as I drink it. I mean, it just seems like it's, you took like a hazy treehouse beer and then poured in a little bit of a West Coast IPA or something maybe. but it's surprisingly soft and fruity and juicy smelling. A little bit spicy, but I really like that aroma. Mm. Yeah, it's a little bit drier than Alter Ego, for sure. That's one of their other standard IPAs I got. And not as sweet. The body might be a little less soft because of that, <clears throat> but it's nice and refreshing. I feel like it finishes a little bit cleaner than other treehouse beers. Still has this lingering yeast tang that sometimes I think it reminds me of those weird candy circus peanuts. It's slightly banana, but not quite. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's still a pretty soft, full mouth feel, but not quite the best the treehouse can give us. But it's if you want something that's, that's not all just super sweet soft juice if you're not in the mood for that you want something a little bit drier and maybe a touch ref more refreshing I'd go with this but you still get plenty of fruity notes now it's getting a little bit more spicy maybe I, I can pick out some more pine mm. yeah and now it's getting you know the grapefruit and pine are coming out built a little bit more a little bit earthier it would be interesting to compare this with uh, Finback's standard IPA, it's called IPA, because that one features like Shinook and Columbus, some more old fashioned hops, but um, over the past years they've tweaked it and made it look like this, hazy, really pale, really tropical. That one's a bit more dank. This one's surprisingly lacking dankness. <sighs> Maybe my nose isn't working too well today, but <clears throat> it doesn't seem, I'm not getting any green, weird green notes. If I really inhale, I do notice a teeny bit of booze. But it's really nice. I, I wouldn't pass this one up. Maybe it was a little bit fruitier when I had it like, you know, two days fresh. Right now it is at 15 days old. And pretty good. If I would say if you're you know more into old-fashioned, more bitter West Coast style IPAs, this is probably the first Treehouse beer to try. <clears throat> It'll have that stuff going on. That'll still be 
uh, kind of soft and fruity, like uh, you know, Trios is known for. Hmm. Yeah, when I first had this batch, I would have given it like a four and a half. I'm, I think I might go for a four two five right now. It's just not sparking delight quite as much as I thought it would. But I don't know. Maybe my nose is. I'm gonna start getting sick or something because I feel like I'm not smelling as much. Well, that's enough. Goodbye.